Hello and welcome to Spices and More. Pulao is perhaps the most popular vegetarian rice dish in India, with each region having their own version of the dish. Today I'll share a no onion, no garlic pulao recipe with you all. This is super flavorsome with a combination of spices, the subtle taste of coconut and loaded with vegetables. So let's see how to make this. I'm starting by taking quarter cup of oil in a pan and once the oil is hot I'm adding a tablespoon of mustard seeds and a tablespoon of cumin seeds. We'll fry this for a minute and once the mustard seeds start to splutter I'm adding a tablespoon each of urad dal and chana dal. Let's fry this for a minute or two. And once they're golden, I'm adding half teaspoon of turmeric and quarter teaspoon of hing. Our tempering is ready now, so let's add the vegetables. I've taken a cup each of sliced beans, potatoes, carrots and half cup of peas. Adding a bit of salt, just enough for the vegetables to cook and very little water. We'll cover and cook this for a few minutes, stirring in between, making sure the vegetables don't burn. The vegetables look half cooked after about three to four minutes and I'm adding cabbage and capsicum to this now, covering and cooking it again for two to four minutes. We'll get the masala ready now. I've taken a small bunch of mint leaves that I've cleaned. I'm adding half cup of coconut, a teaspoon each of cumin seeds and poppy seeds, half teaspoon of mustard seeds, about three to four inches of cinnamon and three to four cloves. Green chilies to your taste. Three to four inches of ginger. We'll blend this to a smooth paste by adding very little water. We're looking for a consistency very similar to that of a chutney. That looks perfect. So let's add this prepared masala to the vegetables that that we've been cooking. The vegetables look perfectly cooked. They're not overcooked, they're not burnt or they're not undercooked. They look perfect and crunchy. I've added the masala, given it a good mix and covered and cooked it for a minute. It's time to add the rice now. I'm adding about three cups of cooked rice. You could use leftover rice in this recipe as well. I'm adding the rest of the salt now and mixing it really well. I'll cover and simmer for a couple of minutes. And now it's time to add the extract from half a lemon. Let's give it a good mix and we're nearly finished. Just one last step. I'm taking a tablespoon of ghee in a small pan. And once the ghee is hot, I'm adding a quarter cup of cashews. Let's fry the cashews in ghee for a few minutes until the cashews turn golden. That looks perfect now. Let's add that to the prepared pulao. Give it a good mix and it's ready to serve. This is great for lunch boxes and picnics as it doesn't have any onion and garlic. Serve it with your favorite raita and for me that is bundi raita with this pudina bath or mint pulao. If you've liked this recipe, please don't forget to hit the like button and share my channel with your family and friends so that they can enjoy my recipes as well. Until next time, take care.